Thank you. And um, now we get Grace with Judy sharing an experience. <laughs> wow. Thank you so, so much, Ed. That was really beautiful. Um, so I, I don't know if, if any of you or most of you have seen the uh, TED Talk um, attached to the last newsletter, but it was a, a young woman, a psychologist, um, who was a Sufi and talking about the, the pillars of relationship in their community. And this poem reminds me of the Sufi Sobet. It's uh, the Sobet is a Sufi concept that encompasses the idea of a heart to heart dialogue that exists amongst spiritual friends, searching for meaning, looking for love and looking for the divine. Um, and so having sat with this poem and, and thinking about the Sobat, um, I began to have it feel in my body as a bit of a Sufi dance, the, the whirling uh, dance, the whirling dervish dance, where the movement is of enclosing and expanding. It's enclosing and expanding movement. And I want to share this poem with you as a somatic experience for us to feel this imagery in your body and feel it in your breath as a furling and an unfurling and noticing that the thoughts in our mind affects our bodily sensations as powerfully as our bodily sensations affect our minds. So um, let's explore this together in the manner of a so bad as a heart to heart exploration amongst friends. Um, so now sit up tall in your seat and arrive here and now and take a moment to fully appreciate where you are sitting. Notice the light around you, the temperature in the air around you and close your eyes and gently begin to feel inside your body, deep inside your body with interoception. Feel your feet on the floor. Make sure they're both solidly on the floor and feel the groundedness of your feet. Now place your hands on your thighs and rub them just a little, some warmth in your hands and your thighs, and then slide your hands back to the hip crease. Press your pelvis forward onto your hands and now rock your pelvis forward and back, forward and back. Enjoy the movement and then search for the middle place. When you're sitting on your sits bones, neither too forward or too back, right and left. And once you've found that middle place where both sits bones are stably in your seat, Rest there and allow the weight of you to settle down into your seat and use this weight as a counterbalance so you can lift your spine upward. Feel your spine long and supple, your neck long, your head floating above it all. And now rest your hands in your lap and bring attention to your breath, inhaling slowly and comfortably at your own pace. Exhaling slowly and comfortably at your own pace. The poem begins, here I go again. Those have been those of us who've been on the planet a long time have done this over and over, pretending everything is some shade of night with ghosts that surround and chain my heart. Feel this in your body, ghosts that chain my heart, dark feelings enclosing me. Where do you feel chains around your heart? Is it in front at the sternum? Is it behind your heart at your ribs? 
Is it behind your heart between your shoulder blades? Is it below your heart near your diaphragm or your gut? Has a story about the dark thoughts begun in your mind? Just notice, notice. Has your breath pattern altered? Breathe in and out. The poem continues saying, fiercely claiming the pain, my do. Notice that. Must you fiercely claim the pain? And where do you feel the pain? Do you feel it as contracture, tension? What does the image claiming pain bring to your awareness? What does clinging to the pain do in your body? Our poet says, the pain you feel, these stories we cling to, these are the things that keep us apart. He says, these stories sustain the questions regarding you and me that are safely unanswered. What does avoidance feel like in your heart? Do you feel groundless and suspended? Do you feel weighted down? Do you feel burdened? And where is your breath now? But Ed then turns us with mindful solutions to ourselves. He says, I'm testing the goal. I'm testing the value to banish these dark feelings. So how does separating from the dark thought feel in your body? With awareness, become a witness to your thoughts. Become a kind and compassionate witness. Test the possibility of letting these thoughts release. Return to your breath. Use your breath. Slowly inhale. Slowly exhale. Breathing in, allow your shoulders to widen. Breathing out, allow the shoulders to soften. Breathing in, widen your collarbones. Breathing out, allow your collarbones to rest on the rib cage. Test the possibility of opening, of softening, of allowing. And how does this feel in your chest? Our poet says, I pause to remember, I pause to enjoy, to enjoy the lack of need to be burdened by perfection. What does it feel like to release the grip of perfection? Lift your sternum up, breathe into the heart space beneath the bone, breathing in softly, exhaling softly, release, release the burden of perfection. Our poet says, growing up, waking up, maturing is a generosity of imperfections. Breathe here into this wisdom, allowing for the openness of imperfection. Widen yourself, broaden your shoulders, soften them back and down. Breathing in and breathing out, draw breath into your heart space. Each moment comes just as it is, a generosity of imperfection that's yours, that's mine. Ours, it's shared. Our poet notes when we allow this opening, there's a resonance in relationship. Feel this resonance in your heart. Breathing in, feel expansion. Exhaling in resonance with the world around you. 
Breathing in and out. Breathing in now, open your palms and turn them upward. Exhaling, send this generosity outward. Breathing in and out through your palms. Breathing in and out, lift your sternum, lift your head. The poet says this, the possibility is that it is all a grace of spaciousness, always a fullness of intimacy. Breathing in, feel the spaciousness. Breathing in, feel this fullness. Breathing out, enjoy the spaciousness. Enjoy streaming your generosity outward. Tilt your face toward the sky and lift your heart space with it. Place your hands over your face and breathe here. The poem closes with our poet asking us to notice this, the wisdom that there is a resonance in relationship, that love brings up everything like and unlike itself. Breathe here and notice how you feel in your body. This just may be the feeling of the divine that quietly and always lies deeply within you. Breathe in and out. And when you're ready, withdraw your hands, open your eyes, and return to the friendship of our Sangha. And I thank you all for practicing with me. I hope your bodies feel really good now. <laughs>